Welcome to another episode of The Rest of the Story. Now the Cobb family players star in the Department of Homeland Security Press Room. By now you may have heard the first part of the story when the bashful bloviator set out to try to penetrate the veil of secrecy over DHS immigration enforcement. A DHS employee informed him, yes, the agency does have a press office, but no, you can't have the phone number. It's secret. The press officer gave out an email address instead. After the first email resulted in a quick brush off, the bashful bloviator called back. Listen to part of his side of that phone call. Uh, you have any uh, special tips or pointers in mind for how to get them to actually uh, answer my question without simply referring me to the, the FAQ page, which does not, not answer my questions? Okay, put things in bold or isolated. So, the bashful bloviator did as suggested, writing an email that contained key phrases outlined in bold print. Now, the rest of the story. DHS press office supervisor Floyd Stiffum is escorting two press officers, Jack Stollum and Duke Deepsix, into the office of communications director Phineas Poindexter III. Let's listen in. Boss, I've got a case here you, ju you just have to know about. Can we come in? Certainly. What have you got for me today? Well, it, it started when Jack here took a call from a radio reporter in Tucson, Arizona, wanting some information on the current immigration business, that, that whole deal. Uh, Jack, why don't you tell him about it? Uh, well, sir, this, this guy calls in, and uh, he, he wants the press office phone number. Well, you didn't give it to him, did you? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Of course not. I followed standard procedure and gave him the email address. Now, boss, that resulted in a quick brush off, of course, as per procedure. But then the guy calls back. So, Jack, go ahead and continue the story. Well, he said he wanted to know if I could suggest any special tricks he might employ to increase the likelihood of getting a call back. Special tricks? Yes, sir. He sounded so sincere, you know, I hated to simply shut him down. So I suggested that he write a second email and put some key phrases in it uh, in bold print. Bold print? Really? <laughs> How original. So what did he do? Well, he sent a second email, sir, which Duke here then handled. Duke, why don't you pick it up from there? Well, he did. He bolded some key phrases, and it, it was it was really precious. You know, phrases like, I'm trying to get someone from the press office on the phone, and I'm looking to chat with someone in person. What? what let, let, let me see that. The, the, oh, 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 isn't that cute? He really did, didn't he? Look, look, it says he, he wants to get some questions answered in big, bold print. <laughs> that is capital. Uh, so what happened next? Well, I told him I'd call him right away. And did you? Well, of course not, sir, you know, but he kept writing. And, and I have to confess, you know, he was just so sincere and so pitiful uh, I did. I did give him my desk phone number. Oh, you you didn't. Yeah, but by the time he called, I'd come to my senses. So I told him I couldn't talk, and then I blew him off. And he called and wrote a couple of more times after that, and I said I'd have someone call him back. And did you? No, sir. No, sir. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. You know, I know the rules. He finally gave up and went away. What a great story. <laughs> We are going to have to add this to our operational manual. Meanwhile, let, let's step out and tell the floor crew. Gentlemen, follow me. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, may I have your attention, please? Jack and Duke here have a great story to share with you. They'll be circulating amongst you, telling you about it. I applaud their creativity, and I'm sure you will, too. Uh, in fact, I plan to nominate both for Employee of the Month. Now, they're doing a great job. In fact, you're all doing a great job. Uh, keep up the good work. And remember, man those phones. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to the Forest Car Show on Tucson's Power Talk 1210 for more episodes of The Rest of of the story. Today's episode brought to you by Dashing Dave's Discount Ambulance and Mortuary. You kill them, we chill them. <laughs> <laughs>